Welcome everybody to the 12 p.m. R9 member techniques mini series. Um, so a couple of outcomes that we like to see here at the mini series. This is just some quick 30 minute session where we learn or kind of revisit um, some skills that we already possibly have, but build upon them. So this is where we, one of the outcomes that we want in today's session is to just become more and more familiar with Google Suites and other technology resources, identify ways, to, different ways to utilize these tools in your work and in your classroom, and um, set up these new tools and have a chance to practice and play together. So what I like to do is we go through our lesson and then um, I give you kind of some examples and then I give you an opportunity, if you feel like it, uh, to share your screen and walk through those steps while you have a, a support of a full group. So it's kind of nice. And uh, the tech bit norms for these meetings is always be an active listener. Everybody can participate if you can, but you can always choose to pass. Sometimes that can be a little pushy. Uh, so if, if it gets to that point, just tell me, hey, I don't really wanna feel like playing today or showing my face on Zoom, which I totally get. Um, so, so I am open to that. Just be open and honest. Don't be afraid to take risks and uh, respect and appreciate all of, all of us that are here today. Um, on each of these little uh, cute PowerPoints th that I've created, uh, I also include uh, additional resources. So I kind of go through uh, the resources online, some extra videos uh, for you to watch on today's um, lesson. And um, so if you have the time, check it out. And we're always gonna have a fun practice and play session like I mentioned before. And then I have my contact information on the last uh, slide of the PowerPoint presentation. So on the agenda, you can find my notes, which kind of gives you step-by-step step of what we're going to be going through today. Now, I think we're all kind of familiar with hyperlinks, or I hope we are. But like I said, you know, uh, on this Google Docs, revisiting the Google Docs, we've kind of learned about um, or relearned uh, tools that we use every day. And then we kind of learned a different way or a different spin of um, implementing those tools. So that's kind of what we're going to be accomplishing today with hyperlinks. So what is a hyperlink? Can anybody give me a definition or want to unmute and pop in there? It's a link that ties you to the internet, right? <clears throat> and ties you to a website. Yeah. So hyperlink is basically a um, a handy dandy, super fast link to a website. And you can utilize hyperlinks um, in, you can hyperlink a text, right? You can also hyperlink images and um, you can also hyperlink uh, information or maybe I have uh, students that I'm working on a table of content with. Um, uh, for an assignment, and I can hyperlink uh, to a Google Doc. So those are kind of three ways that I know and I use pretty often uh, with how to hyperlink. And what we'll do today is we'll kind of just have those Zoom controls sometimes. They just get in the darn way. So I kind of made an error, which is good. We can practice this way too. So I'm going to go ahead and re-highlight my click here text that I would like to create. The hyperlink and do a control V, which is to paste and apply. Now let's double check my work here. Now at this point, uh, which nice is it opens up a little pop-up box. You can click on the link and it's going to take us to the page, which is great. Okay. You can find out additional information. Um, the other thing, if I click on it, I can also copy the link again to my uh, clipboard. If I've made an error, I can also edit the link. And then you also want to um, recognize this little link with the slash through it, which is basically going to cut our link. And I always recommend this, especially uh, know about that because sometimes when you're copying and pasting or um, duplicating doc documents, um, sometimes the, and you want to update your link Sometimes it's better if you um, remove the link of your um, that's on your text first. So go ahead and cut that link that was established there, and then reconnect it, rehyperlink it. Um, that's always just been a hard lesson that I've learned over the years. 
um, working with links and, and copying, hyperlinks and copying. So just a little advice. Um, how to hyperlink images in Google Docs. So we haven't really figured out how to insert an image. We've, we've kind of gone through it in other uh, sessions. And I, I think most of us know how to insert, but there's a kind of a, a nice way to do it, uh, a clean and way to do it that's really nicely formatted in Google Docs. And what we wanna do is we want to utilize um, our and insert our table. So what you wanna do is kind of maybe just insert a table first. And then at this point, we're gonna use our second navigation toolbar to insert an image. And I'm gonna search the web. I can upload from my computer. I can search the web at this point. I'm gonna move uh, the video out of the way. And what I would like to do is transparent background, blue whales. Because apparently I'm on that theme today. I don't know which one, you guys. I'll just go with the first one. So in our, um, and if I need to resize it, I always grab it from the corner and shrink it down, of course. Oops, I totally lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've now um, kind of shrunk down and don't worry about how big the box is at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and um, from, from the, from my picture, I'm where my cursor is, I'm gonna go ahead and click and enter and enter in a space below. And I'm gonna type in blue whales. So it's nice and neat underneath um, my picture of our blue whales. And then I'm going to pull our nice little um, Wikipedia page that I wanna link back. So again, when I'm linking text, I highlight the text that I would like to hyperlink, click on the link or right click, paste in and apply. And at this point, I could simply grab the line and shrink it down. So now I have kind of a nice icon or space um, um, for students to look at or, or um, you know, also coworkers of a nice clean image and a high uh, text that's hyperlinked. Okay, finally, um, how to link table of contents, same concept, just a little bit different. So if I have students um, that basically I have some docs that I would like them to, to be shared with them um, so they can um, receive all the information as an instructor, I would like to give them. And I have those documents housed in Drive. You can also link to your Drive. Uh, so doc to, you can hyperlink to your Google Docs in Drive, excuse me. So how would we do that? So you basically wanna, again, pick the um, text that you would like to highlight, okay? You wanna make sure that you have your Zoom or your Zoom, your Drive open. And as you can see, I was kind of working with backgrounds at that point. I'm gonna go ahead and share with me drives in my drive. And I have several different documents. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this document right here, this BH cover page that Brian shared with me. Open that document up. And this could be a folder or a doc, but we're just gonna kind of do a doc for right now. And you wanna double check your share settings in Drive. And at this point, um, if you notice, I can share with anybody at region nine. But what I would like to do is I would like to go to um, an advanced setting. So this is a, and okay. it says so, I'm sorry, we need to click on change. I was, I was looking for advanced. Uh, settings, but I want to I want to basically change my settings that anyone at region nine can see this, but I need anybody with a link. Okay. And then I want to make sure that I have this correct. So if they need to edit or simply just be a viewer in this case, I just want them to be a viewer. And then um, I'm going to click done. Oops. But I wanted to before I did that. I need to copy this link. Okay. So any, anyone with this link, and again, you can kind of just click in that box 
and do a control C as well. And then let's go back to our document and highlight our text, hyperlink our, with our Google sharing link and apply. So when I hover over this, I should be able to see kind of a little thumb um, nail of, of what that page is that we are going to. And now we are linked to a document that you've shared appropriately in Google Talks. Okay. How's everybody doing? Any Great. questions so far? Good, just following you. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody have any other ways, um, while I have you, uh, that you have created hyperlinks in text or in docs that I didn't mention? Not at this point. Not really. Not That's really. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's all sorts of nice things. I love hyperlinks because you can um, create one doc and link uh, your audience to multiple uh, documents of information. So it kind of streamlines things a little bit, which is nice. Um, would anybody like to practice or play? today on covering hyperlinks. I'm gonna go ahead and stop share for now, start my video back up and just um, see how everybody's doing. Well, that is all I pretty much had for today. Um, you can find today's uh, presentation um, on the R9 uh, TechBits agenda for 21-22. And be sure to check that out. I, I just chatted that uh, link for you into the chat. Thank you, Nicole Richardson. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, again, these are just quick 30-minute sessions um, to see and revisit um, Google Docs, as well as we're gonna be covering soon Google Forms, Google Sheets um, in, in kind of quick little segments. So I hope that you continue to join us and um, continue to learn together.